GCSE Biology. Welcome. Are you excited for a fun learning session? Make sure you have your book and a pen before we start. Today you will learn about growth in animals. Growth in animals. It is important to measure the growth of babies and children to ensure that they are remaining healthy. A lack of growth can suggest problems and too much growth can suggest tumors, obesity or other problems. Percentile charts are used to track growth. Percentile charts measure a baby's growth against the growth of other babies the same age. These charts were created by measuring a large number of babies. The measurements were divided into 100 groups. These groups are used to find out what percentage of readings are below certain value or percentile. There are many factors that can influence the growth of an organism. Factors include nutrition health genetic factors, an organism with large parents is likely to be large than those with small parents. Cells can change after undergoing mitosis to be able to preform specific functions. The process of becoming a more specialized cell is called differentiation. This is what allows a fertilized egg to become a human with muscle cells, hair cells and many more different types of cells. Red blood cells have a specialized shape that gives the cell a larger surface area to allow for quicker diffusion of oxygen. Red blood cells also have no nucleus and so have a larger volume to carry more oxygen. Muscle cells contain special proteins that allow the muscle to contract. Fat cells contain fat droplets in the cytoplasm, this allows the body to store energy. Nerve cells have long fibers that carry the electrical impulses. These are what pass messages from one nerve cell to the next. 